Hello everyone. So today's video, we are going to be doing an example where we are given a CMOS function and we have to design a stick gut diagram. And as you can see, the question asks us to design a stick diagram given the following function. A is in parallel with B in series with C, and then that whole thing will be in series with E, and then that whole entire thing will be in parallel with D. So the question is, how do we design the stick diagram to do this? It's a pretty complicated function. Um, if you guys want to check out my previous video where I made the CMOS uh, equivalent of this, the layout of it, I highly recommend you checking that out before uh, proceeding through this video because this is pretty hard to do if you don't know the concepts. Okay, so... If you've already checked out the video, let's just move on. So the important thing to know is to understand the pull-up network and the pull-down network. So the pull-up network is simply the PMOS substrate. And for the pull-down network, that's where the NMOS substrate are. And for the PMOS, uh, each transistor, for each transistor, the top side is basically the source. So we'll just label all of them consequently as it is. So that's basically how it is. So you have D on the bottom and S for the top for each PMOS transistor. And for the NMOS transistor, it's going to be different. So we have the uh, drain at the top and for the, uh, in the bottom, it's the source for each NMOS transistors. And here I'm just going to label it for the rest of the inputs. So yeah, this is it for pull-up network and pull-down network. And this is important to label all the uh, symbols for each transistor, SD and DS. And the reason being is because this is how the stick diagram is going to be formed. And judging by this uh, function, it looks pretty complicated. But once you understand how this goes through, then you will be an expert on drawing stick diagrams in CMOS. So let's start off, shall we? So I'm just going to move on. So if you guys don't already know, a stick diagram looks like this. We have uh, five lines. The first line would be essentially be our VDD substrate labeled in blue. Our other one would be the ground substrate labeled in blue as well. And then we have the PMOS substrate, which is the pull-up network, the NMOS substrate, which is in the NMOS network the pull down network. And then we have this V out here, which isn't necessary, but it's kind of important. And I've also labeled the colors here. I didn't label, I didn't, you know, draw the colors here, but uh, in uh, IEEE or whatever, uh, there, there's a given symbol that VDD and ground represents the following colors that I've explained. And that's pretty important. So why not let's do our stick diagram? shall we? So in our uh, following function, I'm just going to ha have an annotated pop-up just to label uh, our pull-up network and pull-down network again, probably in the side of the video. This is going to be important to uh, know, just as an indication. So for uh, our function, we have five inputs, A, B, C, D, and E. And they're going to be labeled as vertical lines perpendicular to all these uh, lines that I've already drawn here. So let's do that, shall we? So we have the first line here. We will label that as A. And then we have a second line here. Label that as B. And then we have a third line here labeled as C. We have a fourth line here labeled as D and finally the last one as E. Now what we're going to do is for each of our lines we're going to label which uh, side the uh, transistors are facing. So 
Uh, I'm going to explain it clearly by writing it down by showing you guys. So for A, there's you know we have there's two sides. There's the left side and then the, there's the right side. And each side you're going to label whether it's the drain side or the source side or not. So let's just give an example. We just put D here and S. And what that basically means is that we're going to label all the connections that are connecting from uh, the drain of uh, the uh, uh, input of A, and then we're going to get all the connections for the source for A, and vice versa for B, C, D, and E. So we're just going to you know, randomly write down uh, what uh, each side is going to be for each input. So for B, we're just going to label this, and then for C, we're going to label this, this, and this. And now for our uh, NMOS uh, substrate, we can do the same thing. So we just label it as it is. Now you may be wondering why am I doing this so fast? And the reason is because I've done this already and this would this uh, coordination would bring like the most simplified design of our stick diagram. But moving on, so we have drawn all our sides for each input, and now basically what we do is we connect them all together. So first we have uh, input A, and input A we have, so let's start off with the drain side. So as you can see in the uh, window, let's start off with the pull-up network for input A. So in our drain side, for input A, the drain is connected to the output and also to the drain of input E. So basically what is going to happen is that we're going to draw a little dash here to indicate that this drain is going to be connected to our output. And also not only that but our drain for E is also connected to that as I've said so we're going to draw another circle here, this cross here and we're just going to connect these together because the drain of A and the drain of D is connected. So we do that. And what we get is this. Now moving on uh, to our source of A. So the source of A is connected to the drain of B and also to the drain of C. So uh, as we can uh, tell, the, the source of A is already connected to the source of B, so that's no worries. But it's not connected to a D yet. So we have to draw another cross here to label it. There we go. Now let's look at uh, B. So the drain of B is already connected to the source of A and also not connected to the source of D. Well, yeah, it's not connected yet, but it's already connected with the cross. We did it already. Now let's go on to our source of B. So source is already connected to C, but it's not connected to D yet of the drain. So we're going to have to draw another cross here draw one here and then just connect it like this and there we go now let's go to C the C for the source that's connected to the source of B already and also connected to the drain of D which is also connected already now moving on to the drain of C so for the drain of C that's already connected to the drain of B so that's good and it's also connected to the source of A so B and then A so that's good now so for the source of D the source of D the drain is already connected to the source of B and also connected to the source of C and then the source of D is has to be connected to the VDD substrate. 
So what basically happens is we draw another cross here and then we just connect it to VDD and that is the only passageway to VDD so we just label this as VDD and then finally for E the source of E is connected to the drain of D which is already connected and the drain of E is already connected to the drain of A and we uh, forgot to, to do this but we also have to label this as it is And that is it uh, on how to do stick diagrams. I'm also going to continue doing the NMOS substrate, but it's almost like the same concept. But before ending off, ending it off, let's just start connect our ground, and that will be it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show the entire stick diagram. So for our ground substrate, our ground is connected. Uh, to the source of E and also to the source of D in the pull-down network. So we'll take E right across here and then we'll draw another cross for D with a source and then we draw basically like a passageway indicating that they both meet each other and that touches the ground. And also I forgot here in the output voltage that's also touching this because this is where the main V out line is. This is just a connection. Also, I want to highlight that all the wires that I've made are also colored in blue. So that's a pretty important uh, thing to know. And I'm just going to wrap it up here. And I'm gonna just going to skip all the steps until I we have uh, until we have completed the whole stick diagram. So this is the entire stick diagram for our falling function. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the near future. Here's a video of how to design the CMOS layout for the falling function that was given in the beginning of this video.